So this is a first attempt at a video. Uh, this is showing an ability. Someone requested this in the Cursor Shroud Discord uh, 1, I believe it was, in regards to summoning a creature. So the way this will work is the ability triggers and a specific token is summoned onto the, the map itself. <coughs> it only works with a, the creature itself being named. Then you can summon it in that way. I'll, I'll show you that now. So first of all, you need a couple of modules to make this work. First one being, probably should do this, is item macro. Next one is MIDI QOL. We've got those installed and configured. You need to get it configures. And you need to make sure with MIDI QL, it's the important part. The workflow here has add macro on to call on use. That is ticked. Once that's ticked, you can go back to your creature. Uh, you make the don't want to do that. So you make your ability as forever, but you'll notice with item macro, you have this. This is a macro I found from someone, um, someone called Honey Badger, I believe it is, from the Foundry Discord. They wrote this, which summons a specific token to the battlefield. Um, it's really awesome. The important line is to use this, because I found if I wasn't doing this, what's happening, the macro is triggering twice is annoying so with that you literally put it there double butt slash and an asterisk cuts that line out of the code um <clears throat> what you'll need to do then is that macro i will put in the description so you got your macro there and then this bottom part here on use macro you need to type exactly this so it's item macro capital i capital m then you fill the rest of it out so i've got this target myself or the creature. Uh, my resources are set up differently. Other reasons why. Nothing else there. The last bit you need to do is you need to make sure whatever you're summoning is named exactly the same as that ability. So you can see here I've got a zombie that is called Corpses Reanimate. Now obviously you don't want a creature called that, but you can go to your prototype prototype token and rename it to whatever you want it to be when it goes onto the field that's what we'll show cool so with that we'll see how it works so select corpse flower go to reanimate ignore that for now Oops. and you get this little target obviously you're not targeting a creature specifically just location so with corpse flowers you do it within 10 feet so it's popping right next to my little test dummy and Bam. Post in the chat where you're done. And you get a cult flower zombie, which works immediately. And it's all good. So, oh, that helps. Oh, that's kind of cool. And I hope this wasn't too shit as a video. Thanks.